obviously, just uh, what, what a game. What a great atmosphere. What, what, a, what a game our, our crowd was treated to tonight. The offensive display from both teams in the first half. I mean, shoot both teams shooting lights out. We told our team at halftime if, if we fought a little bit more, we knew they, they wouldn't shoot it at the same clip. But gosh, they just they showed some great resiliency and great toughness with a bunch of young guys. You know, uh, Andrew Andrews was, was huge, obviously, for them. But our guys never dropped their heads. They never doubted for a second. And we fought to the bitter end. Um, we joked in the locker room that they finally executed a play out of the timeout, out of a timeout. And uh, what can you say? I mean, it was just a great individual play um, by Stevie. And uh, this is a big win for us. Big win and a big shot in the arm. Stevie, obvious question. How are you feeling right now? Um, I'm, I'm pretty excited. It was a good team win. Um, <laughs> it was an exciting game, good game for the fans. We stuck together and uh, pulled it out at the end. When was that the play call coming out of the timeout to give it to Stevie? Yes. Sure. We ran a little curl screen for Stevie. Gary towards the ball, Trace running the middle of the floor. We knew one of those two would be open. And we said three seconds was an eternity, three point whatever, that we could, if we caught it deep enough, we could get to the three point line on the other end of the court. And he showed great patience and, and balance and, and knocked down a big one for us. Stevie, obviously you had the moment against Utah also. Um, did that run through your mind going into that final play? Um, a little bit. I, I guess it gave me a little more confidence. Uh, we've been in that situation before, and uh, knowing that you have to make a play in the last second, so uh, it gave me a little confidence. Did you, were you trying to draw a foul? Did you think that was a possibility, or did you just know you were going to have to go up and shoot? I was just trying to get as close to the basket as possible with uh, the time that was left, and um, tried to elevate above the we, yeah, we said we're going to make the shot to win it in the timeout. And I said, when we hit it, I almost said something I should have <laughs> are on me, but I didn't say it. And so we're going to hit this game winning shot and we're going to celebrate. So the, the guy, and, and a couple of the assistants and the players were like, we're, we're going to win this, guys. We're going to win this. Believe, believe. Gary kept saying believe. And sure enough, it was, uh, it was, that was pretty, pretty unbelievable. Stevie J to the rescue. Just the, uh, the free throws down the stretch, knowing they were in the, the double bonus, or you guys were in the double bonus, I should say, for most of the game. How did that change the offense focus what you were doing? We were just trying to attack. Attacking was our game plan all night. And then once we got the double bonus with 12 to go or whatever it was, we didn't settle too much. I, th I thought, I mean, it was a physical game there. You want to, we could watch that film. And there's, I know he got shoved a couple of times in the backcourt versus pressure. So it was, uh, you know, there was, a, we thought a grab on, on a layup. But anyway, um, you know, they, they missed a couple down the stretch, but we missed, we missed a lot. Um, in crunch, and it's all right. We stayed with it. We got stops, and we made them when we had to. When you kind of, you know, speculated after the Oregon game whether the, you made the moment too big for the guys to, whether you made the moment too big against the Oregon game, but to for the guys to respond like that, what does it show you about the character of the team going forward? Uh, that we're developing it, yep, at the right time. We're developing it at the right time, and I give a lot of credit to Jarmal and Langston. They got us together in a huddle before our first practice on Monday, uh, before. We had a kid that was going to be late for class, and I said, let's just bump practice back. And the coaches said, no, let's go down and just shoot for a half an hour. I said, no, let's leave them alone. Let's coaches stay out of there and see what they do. And we got news that they had a player's huddle, very positive, let's go, let's get after it in a spirited practice. And so that gave me a pretty good feeling in my belly that the guys bounced back from that performance and they were going to be ready to go tonight. Gary, at the end of that Utah game when Stevie was at the line, I remember you, like, I think you turned around at the other end. You weren't even looking. What, what were you doing here? I couldn't uh, really see where you were. Uh, I, was, I was on the other side in the corner. I was just watching it all happen. And as soon as it hit the net, I went to go bum rush him. Did you think, I mean, he got a good look. Oh, Did no. you think? Oh, yeah, it's automatically. I, I trust him. So, you know, once he puts it up, yeah, you got a, a pretty high chance of going in, and it did. He just, he just came out and saved us. So. You know, it's just one of those plays. I, and I know, Gary, it's just one game, but it was such an important game. What do you think this does moving forward into the senior day? Uh, you know, it jump starts us and uh, it gives us a big boost, motivation. You know, anything can happen. We just got to believe and uh, keep fighting to the end. And, uh, you know, we're going to go to practice tomorrow with the same attitude and uh, bring the same energy and just uh, carry on until, until Sunday. You uh, dub. Uh, shot almost 50% from three-point line or three-point line and uh, 
the first half. What was the defensive strategy going in the second? Well, we, we told our guys that we're, we're the best team in the league in defensive three-point field goal percentage or close to it. And we gave them too many wide open looks in the first half. It's not like Andrews hit a tough one on Trace, but, but when the shot clock's running down, you gotta step up to shooters and make them dribble. And, but we gave them some open ones just off miscues. So we said, just play our D the way we're supposed to. Our zone is like man to man. You're supposed to be matched with somebody. So they sh good shooters shouldn't get open looks. But we just said, tighten it up. We know that over the course of the season, they haven't <coughs> shot a tremendous percentage, and maybe those will flip in our favor this half if we play with a little more focus. And they ran the same little play, and they got open look time after time after time. And it finally, with how many minutes to go, we figured out the overload that we got to bump over. And, and, and so they, they did make the adjustments in crunch time. But credit Lorenzo. He's got a hell of a team, very talented, very athletic. Um, but I tell you what, our guys showed some real church bells tonight coming back and winning that thing. So proud of our guys. Stevie, it seems like, you know, game-winning three-pointer, Utah game, it, nothing really gets you rattled. You're just not the most emotional guy, it seems. You're not throwing your arms around and yelling. What, what does get you emotional? Or are you always just level-headed? Uh, I try to play. I try to stay uh, pretty level-headed uh, throughout the whole game, uh, stay pretty even keel, try not to get too up, get too down. But um, trust me, on the inside, I'm, I'm really excited. I was really excited on the stretch uh, after I made the shot. And... Uh, that, that's what it is. I try to just keep it inside. <laughs> take a look. You take a look at what, what contributions we got from some of our young guys. How about Eubanks getting 17 and 13 against the most athletic front line in our league? You know, we have four guys in double figures, all over 15. Um, so proud, proud of that young group. And Jarmal and Derek gave us a nice little bump off the bench. Um, I tell you what, we 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 um, applauded Langston in the locker room because he didn't play in the second half, but every huddle. He was the guy standing in front of the players while the coaches were meeting, keeping them fired up. He didn't hang his head. He didn't pout. And, and that's just a small symbol of what we've been looking for, not just from him, but from everybody. That kind of spirit, that kind of team belief. And um, uh, I'm really proud of him. And he got to change one of our numbers on the board because of that. And now the rest of the guys need to learn from it a little and carry this momentum forward. And this is big. We'll celebrate it here for a little bit, but we're going to have a hungry, uh, wounded animal coming in. They're, you know, they're playing their tails off Washington State, and they're they're playing in some, in a lot of games. So we've got to put this behind us and get ready for that team. Gary, for this for this team to get to this point, you're still on the NCAA tournament bubble, and I mean, for a for a game like this to mean so much, just for tonight. I mean, not even for the future, just for a great game like this. Can you see the kind of cohesion of the players, the camaraderie, that sort of thing, come together, especially in a time like this in the season? Definitely. I think, uh, you know, everybody's starting to understand, starting to believe. And, uh, you know, that's what we, we've been preaching uh, all year, just just believe and, and buy into what we're doing. You know, and it's going to work out in the end. Tell you, there was an article apparently on the Trailblazers the other day. Mike Parker shared it with me this morning, talking about Damon Lillard's quotes about their resurgence. And one of their players, I can't remember which one it was, hadn't played in back-to-back -back games. And he was pouting a little bit. And Lillard sent him a text and said, we need everybody. We're going to turn this around. We're going to need you. you. We have to trust in the process. And so that was the big part of their turnaround. Guys started trusting in the process and forgetting the individual stuff. And they've made a heck of a move. And Mike, I didn't think right before tonight's game was the right time, but we were going to share that article with our guys that let's trust in the process here. We got everything in front of us. So that's something we're going to give them credit for, then we're going we're gonna, to, I guess, uh, steal it from them a little bit. But our guys, with Gary leading and those guys stepping up and buying in, we took a step in the right direction. And hopefully we can feed off of that a little bit and keep it going. When you guys were uh, down six with 148 to go, down the road, can you see this game as maybe one you use an ex as an example when you get in maybe a similar situation? Certainly, because I, I don't know. Have we had a game where we were like this and, and came back and won? I mean, Utah. Yeah, we had the lead, and they took it briefly. Um, we were down to like four minutes left in that game. To Utah, so that is great experience to hang in there. You know, you always say it, and in, until you really get everything in place, you don't have that in your DNA where you just you just never stop believing. You, you just keep chipping away, sticking to the plan. Um, we we said when Trace was shooting free throws, okay, when we come back, it's the max they can be up will be four. We don't with twenty some seconds. We don't need to jack a three. And I can't remember, was it Stevie went and got fouled, but we didn't chuck up a three, and now you got to foul him. 
can't remember who scored our last points before Stevie's three, but so the guy stayed on the plan. We, we went in, we, we scored, or we, I think Drew got a put back. Um, you know, we got, a, we got a shot, kind of a desperation one from the corner. And our guys just kind of one play led to the next that led to the magical finish there at the end. I guess anyone can kind of answer this, Coach Gary or Stevie. Have you ever been a part of so many crazy finishes in one season? Honestly, I mean, any, anyone can. This is my first. First, first time is crazy, craziest. You know, things, magical things happen upstairs in that gym. So, you know, it, it, it's kind of surprising, but not really. You know, we just keep battling and believe. It's just nice that we, we're getting some breaks, yeah. you know, but we're earning them. We're earning them by doing things, going about it the right way, staying together. It's amazing. You know, you talk about luck. It's the harder you work and the more you stay together, the more luck seems to tip in your favor. So. Stevie, so much has been made this whole year about the father-son dynamic. At what point after your shot were you able to communicate or see your dad? Probably uh, I, 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 I saw him uh, after I got up, after everybody got up off of me. Um, I walked over back to shake hands, and he was the first one ran up to me and uh, gave me a high five. It was a pretty special moment. Did you say anything to him? Uh, it's a good shot. I mean, yeah, something, something about the shot, good shot, let's go, or something like that. Let's go. Shoot, I think he and I even hung too. So I turned around and he's flexing and I'm flexing. And, no, I'm proud of him. You know, I'm proud of this kid because, you know, it, it didn't happen as quickly as maybe he thought early on and he had to fight through learning our defense and this, that, and the other. And he, he was frustrated. And the same thing I told Trace earlier on, you hold the answers. I can't push a magical button to, to, to inject you with confidence. And, and he just, you know, the last month or so, I think after Christmas, he started getting the defense down more and more and more, and then the offense started to come once he trusted that he had the answers. And, and um, it's neat to see. And Drew's kind of come through that, hoping Derek and G are next. You know, So um, they're really proud of him for his resiliency and, and toughness that he's shown.